Okay. Yeah, take me through. Welcome to our gym. <laughs> this is the entranceway. This is our reception desk. It's, again, very, very exciting reception desk. There'll pretty much always be someone here um, to help you out if you need it. We have uh, our class check-in. It's all done through this iPad, so whenever you come in, you need to register for a class. But yeah, this is our main training mat. You know, we've got the wall mats going on. Um, we've obviously got some decent floor mats as well. So down here, we've got changing rooms. There's two separate changing rooms. This is our waiting area, slash seating area, slash library, slash bag storage area. Area. Um, we've tried to create something that's as welcoming and friendly for people as possible but primarily it's for like the kids who have parents training in classes we wanted to create an environment where they can like do their schoolwork if necessary they can have some kind of entertainment things going on and have access to books and library uh, a library that's gonna like promote their education as well this is where most of our peewees classes happen it's a really great environment for them because it is quite enclosed there's not a lot of distractions going on around them um, like we don't have anybody waiting here while the kids classes are going on so they're not going to get distracted like that so they can really focus on learning again we've made sure that all the walls and the floors are padded and stuff like that so there's a lot of protection for those kids as well in and around the gym we've tried to add some of our mine and Chelsea's history as well so these are this bottom row are our world's medals right Chelsea yes. I think uh, worlds and maybe a couple of Europeans as well so I won Nogi worlds three times um, Chelsea won worlds as nice. well uh, Europeans a couple of times so it's a nice reminder of kind of the energy and effort that we put in and then there's some of our other ones that we've got up there these are from some, some of the opens um, this is the British Open which is one of the biggest competitions got, like, in the one UK of the earliest pro events. yeah the world pros over there um, and then we have other little things dotted around that are kind of like important to us as well so over in this corner we've got um, a picture of Chelsea in 2019 our daughter was born and or well, in September and we took her over to Europeans Chelsea wanted to get back into competition as fast yeah. as possible um, and so we took her over and it was a really hard road for Chelsea to get back into competing. Um, and so this is a picture of uh, her coming off or just after she won her first match back at Europeans. Um, she ended up going on to win bronze, I think. Yeah. Um, so it was a really cool little journey that she went on. And then Chelsea and I have both fought on Polaris a couple of times. So we have some of the signed posters in, in these changing rooms yeah, as some well. Yeah, those old school posters. Right? Yeah, which are kind of fun and kind of cool. And a few other little bits and bobs kind of dotted around that are you know, really important to our history and like the history of the gym as well. One of our goals is always to try and give back to the community as much as possible. So we created this pre-loved section and pre-loved geese are essentially people who have like either grown out of a geese or bought a new gi and don't necessarily want, want to wear that old one anymore. The or for the kids, shrunk. yeah, the, the geese might have shrunk or for the kids, like kids grow so fast, they grow out of geese quickly. Way before they wear out. So what we did is we started to like resell on geese and we do it in two ways. We have one which goes to like inside. So any of the white geese that we get back in, um, we resell on to our students at like a really low cost so they're not having to kind of spend out to it or if they're like low income families it's a way that they can start training at a very low reduced rate when we get people coming in from our other gyms if they don't have a white gi they've got like blue gis or whatever they're going to train with us often they'll sell them onto us and we use those as donations to go out to other schools around the country who are in low income areas maybe they're not for profits or their charities or whatever and they just need geese for guys to wear and yeah we, so, give, we give a lot of geese to uh, programs for adolescents yeah um, especially in low-income areas because those kids don't have any money, no way of getting any money, and they can um, get geese for cheap that way. Yeah, it's a really nice thing that we can kind of do for like our community, but like the jiu-jitsu community as a whole. It's a great thing to be able to give back like that.